What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. Listen, I hear rumors that King Dakar, the world's tallest and fastest in America roller coaster, might close here at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. Of course, I have to pull up and I have to experience it for potentially some of my last rides. I don't know if the rumors are true, but here's the thing, even if they aren't, I'm still gonna be able to ride one of my favorite roller coasters on the planet some more times today. And I feel like I haven't been to Great Adventure as many times as I probably should have been, considering how major and substantial of a park this is. This is one of the largest parks in the Six Flags Cedar Fair combined company, home to 14 roller coasters, another one on the way with flash vertical velocity, which I'm really excited to show you guys today as well. That actually just started testing very recently, so that could be really cool. We get to see that run. I don't know how likely it is, but either way, I'll show you guys the ride when we get up closer. Otherwise, I'm not intending on making this like a big vlog. The intention today is just to get some potential last rides on King to Call, like I said, and then maybe we'll throw in a couple more here and there. I know Green Lantern is another one that has rumors of a closure, so we'll definitely get a ride on that as well. The other thing is, this park is opening today at 5 p.m. This is their Fright Fest event. We're here on a Friday, meaning I don't have much daylight to film much, so I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, but yeah, like I said, just going to do a couple of rides. It's going to be a fun time, though, at Great Adventure. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm also joined with Sam, Wooden Me. Warrior Girls here. Hi. Yeah, I come here a lot, and it'll be really sad if King Ka is, like, done forever. If, it, if it's true, I'm very glad to be here and to get my final ride in and if it's not I'm glad to be here anyway I love King Ka. there's also flash might be testing today that'll be cool to see because I've basically seen it get built throughout the course of the year I don't know there's a lot going on here so I'm excited to be here like I said I hope these rumors aren't true they could be though I've been hearing a lot of things from a lot of different people and it's it's scary for me especially this is a top 10 coaster guys like it's fully it, and I've ridden a thousand at this point a lot of people might think I'm crazy for that take but I just I love it so much it has the best element I've ever experienced on a coaster with that first launch. Oh, I'm so excited to be here and ride it. Let's do it. Six Flags Great Adventure opened in 1974, meaning this year it is celebrating 50 years. There should be a lot of cool decorations around the park. Lots of upgrades, lots of enhancements. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing it all. So here's your first look at Flash Vertical Velocity, the park's next roller coaster to be added. This was supposed to be an addition for this year, but it's actually coming in 2025. I'll talk a lot more about it later because we're going to get a better look from the other side of all these trees, which is blocking a lot of the track layout. But I'm really excited. This is going to be a really good ride for the park, and it's going to fill a nice gap in their lineup. There it is. Oh, I'm like getting emotional walking up to this. <laughs> King Daka, the tallest coaster in the world. Right beside it is another fan favorite, El Toro. This is also a spectacular ride. One of the best wooden coasters in the world. There it goes. Oh man. And Zoom and Jaro, the sign is gone. Yeah, so Zoom and Jaro is no more as well. It's another reason we think King Daka also might be done. But yeah, let's get a ride and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Oh, I'm actually nervous. This is one of the only coasters that makes me nervous so in the whole world. I'm so scared. Oh my god. Oh my god! Yeah! Oh my god! Oh! 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 <laughs> I'm gonna be really upset. I'm gonna be really mad if that closes. Oh my god. We just did a front row on Ka. It was lit. I swear, I kid you not, that is in boost mode. Like, it is so fast. The launch, I've never felt it feel that fast in my life. Going over the top, so fast. I don't know. That is different. Like, and everyone in the station is just so hype about the ride. Like, please do not take that away from me. Like, oh my god. It's so good. I can't wait to go get more rides. <laughs> and we're not making this up. We know it's boost mode. That thing was going over the top hat so fast. You got airtime. Sustain airtime. You know how there's that trim at the top of that top hat. You don't feel that at all the way it's running right now. Oh my god, it was so fast over the top, but just focusing on the launch, absolutely peak. Best element I've ever experienced in my life. It is so intense. It feels like your face is, is like stretched. Mm -hmm. It's insane how fast you are going. And then you get that sense of speed again when you get to the bottom of the top hat and you drop down that spiral, which is such a cool visual too. Your just face is literally just combusting. It is so insane. There's no other ride in the world that feels like that. Uh, I 
it's so good and it's so fast. They must just be wearing it out. Like honestly, that makes me really think that it's closing soon because they never run that launch that fast. I mean, that was, that's ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Like hands down the best ride I've ever had on that. That's why it's a top 10. If you don't believe me, do it in the front. It is absolute perfection. Also a question you may have, why is that closing soon? Well, it's a great question. This coaster, it's very expensive to maintain. This has a hydraulic launch. There's not many left in the world. Intamin does no longer manufacture them. And you've seen hydraulic launch coasters around the globe disappear. We have one back at home, Accelerator at Knott's Berry Farm, which has experienced so much downtime throughout its life. You have Top Thrill Dragster at Cedar Point, or should I say had, that's no longer there anymore. It's now Top Thrill 2. The park refurbished it and they added LSMs, which is a more reliable type of launch, but the ride is completely different now. That ride, that whole project has been a flop. It has not done well for the park at all. The coaster has barely been operational since the refurbishment, which tells us that they're not going to be doing that again on King of the Ka. They're probably just gonna scrap it if it closes. So I'm gonna be very disappointed if that happens, but unfortunately I do see it as a fairly likely probability. Next up is the legendary El Toro. We got a freaking jet going overhead. That's kind of crazy. This opened in 2006. Wow. This is an Intamin prefabricated wooden coaster where they factory cut the track and then move it over here and build it on site. Whereas most wooden coasters, they actually cut it up at the park and then they build it. As a result, it's smoother than most wooden coasters and it has so many amazing elements. It's crazy. Here it is, El Toro, the ride at this park. Everyone loves El Toro. Let's see how it's running. People behind us are genuinely terrified. <laughs> Look at these fall colors too. This is gorgeous. Oh, and a gorgeous sunset. Wow. Oh my God, this park just has two absolutely lethal rides. Like that was so insane. I don't know how it's been aging ever since the retract they did a few years ago. However, that is insanely intense. Like that is by far the most intense wooden coaster. It's not my favorite, I still prefer Voyage, but it is definitely the most intense wooden coaster on the planet. The forces are ridiculous. Like the airtime, the way you are pushed up out of your seat, there's no other Woody that even comes close to delivering what that does. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I haven't gotten a front row ride in forever. That was different. Like especially the rolling thunder hill, that really stands out in the front row. And like the drop, I don't know, like everything, just the way you get pushed over. And it was a little rough, but honestly not as rough as I've experienced this year. The front isn't bad. The front is really, really good. Highly recommend the front on that. People talk about the back, they don't talk about the front. We're gonna see about Green Lantern. That's a priority this visit with the rumors around that, but that one was stuck on the lift till, so we will see if it's open. This is a new area for their 50th year anniversary. What's going on here? So this is Dream Street. It used to be closed off right there. You couldn't just keep walking. We actually have to go this way, but all the 50th anniversary bricks, you can buy a brick and it will be there. It's just really cool because now you can walk that way and it doesn't look bad either. I like it. It's a nice addition. The park has opened this pathway right beneath Flash Vertical Velocity. This is my first up-close look at it. And I have to say, I'm really excited after seeing this whole layout. It's a very wide, skinny layout. So what this is, is it's the first Vacoma Super Boomerang in the country. There's only one other one out there in the world in China, which of course is a ride that most of us will never get to experience. So it's really cool that they brought this layout to the States. I believe this was actually supposed to go to a different park, maybe in Asia, and the park bought it for a cheap deal after that was canceled. I'm not totally sure. I can't confirm that or anything, but nevertheless, Flash looks really, really cool. I'm super excited for that, especially that roll. So yeah, unfortunately this was supposed to open in 2024 and that never happened. It was postponed to 25, which is a shame given the fact that it is the park's 50th anniversary, but we can peek over here. You can get a real good look at all the layout. I definitely do think this will be one of the better coasters in the park. And actually really exciting news is it has been testing the past couple of days. So I don't know if we're actually gonna see it, but even if we don't, it's really cool to see this thing in full. 
Since this was postponed, you can at least expect it to open in the spring, and hopefully by opening day as well. Here's our next ride. We've got Nitro, a Bolligard Maviard hyper coaster that opened in 2001. It's amazing just how many massive coasters this park has because this thing is 230 feet tall and it's not even close to the tallest in the park. This is a really fun ride. Lots of airtime on this. It'll be nice to do it again. Might be a little dark, but this will be cool. It's basically sunset. It's fun. Wow, we're on Nitro. You can't be so real with that lighting. Oh, wow. Nitro was running really well, very, very smooth. Like that might've been the smoothest I've ever seen that. And the airtime was great. That was really cool. The sunset was beautiful. Oh my God. But actually that was like one of the best Nitro rides I've had. I rarely do it in the front. It was just like the wind, the airtime, the everything, the views. And the weed, cause it smells so <laughs> much like weed <laughs> right now. Reeks. I do hope it gets a repaint soon, but at the same time, like it's just such like a classic, like it's kind of nostalgic. Like I love it, I love it. I've always been team front row on B&M Hypers. Every single one I've ever done, front is the best. That's just my opinion. It just is, it's just the way it is. It's already gotten pretty dark since the last time I spoke to you guys, but check out this 50th anniversary, really nice landscaping around here. Actually, the park looks great right now. Very impressed. cool entertainment just walking around the park. This is a really cool event. Up next is another very highly talked about ride. We've got Green Lantern, which just reopened. It is very dark, so I'm not sure how much you guys are gonna be able to see, but I'll film it anyways. I'm looking forward to getting on this. I haven't been on this coaster since 2020, and I only did it the one time, so I'm not really sure what it's gonna be like. I don't really remember it very well. This coaster opened in 2011 at this park, but previously, before that, was at Kentucky Kingdom as Chang, where it opened in 1997. So it's had quite a long life at this park, and the rumor being is this might be removed as it sits right next to King Nakaw, and then they can replace it with something massive. The popular rumor right now is a Bolliger and Mabiard Giga Coaster, which I think is like one of the few options that they could do that would actually be worthy of replacing these two. Absolutely enormous layout too. This has five different inversions on it. Large ride. Here's a night ride on Green Lantern. The soon to maybe be defunct stand-up coaster at Great Adventure. Wow, this looks crazy at night. Oh my God, this is a movie.
was actually really fun. Whoa! I forgot what that layout felt like, but it's absolutely massive. And I always think back to Europe, but they just don't build very high. Like if you put Green Lantern in Europe, that would literally be one of the largest coasters on the continent. <laughs> but honestly, no, that was a really, really fun coaster. I, I did like it a lot. Um, you have to give yourself a little bit of uh, wiggle room on your legs so that they're not stiff and therefore it's not Which I super didn't uncomfortable. Do. I didn't do it and I hated it. Yeah. I don't really like this ride ever, so I'm kind of glad it might be gone. I think it's a good layout. It's not bad, but I hate standing up. Yeah, but unfortunately the problem is they can't really convert it to a floorless or a sit-down coaster because then it's too similar to Medusa in the same park, which we're not featuring in this vlog. But yeah, just know that if you're coming here, the two rides are not that different actually. But the layout is very big. It's very intense. I don't find it too uncomfortable. I think if you ride it right, it's fine. And I also do find it a little weird in this community. Riddler's Revenge at my home park, Six Flags Magic Mountain, gets a lot of praise. And this one gets a lot of hate and they're not that different. So I don't know what's up with that. I do like Riddler's more, but that's a fun coaster and I will be upset if they remove that too. So between that and King Ka, like they have a lot of shoes to fill. All right, we're gonna wrap up the video with a night ride on King Ka in the front row. I'm not gonna bother to film it because it is super dark in this park. So I'll probably conclude the video after that. And we'll give our final thoughts and our potential farewell to the ride, but I do love this thing. I'm gonna miss it a lot. That might've very well been it. I didn't film, it was too dark, but that ride at night is literally unbelievable. Like, I think that's one of the best night rides operating in the world. One of the best coasters operating in the world. I've always said that. I know it's not the most popular opinion because it is so short and simple, but just the power of that coaster is unbelievable. It is insane. We also like randomly met El Toro Ryan, which was awesome. Uh, he told me that he watched a lot of my videos. That's so cool. Bro was super humble, so mad respect to Ryan. I know you're watching this. So it was a pleasure to meet you and get a ride with you. This is crazy, that might've been it. That might've been the last one. That's crazy to think about. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do without it. That was such a good final ride, if that is my final ride, unfortunately. Um, that was just awesome. A night ride is unbeatable on this. It's so good. Thank the man you. himself? What's up? How's it going, bro? Good, crazy to run into you here. No, really, it is. Yeah, I feel like you're all over the place. I see your videos, you're just all over the world, so yeah, it's like crazy. Yeah, my fans have no idea I'm on the East Coast right now, probably, but right, gotta get like, those last rides on King to Ka, yeah, so. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Everyone come out, get your rides in. It's running so good right now. Like, it's crazy they, they're even considering getting rid of this. Like, it's so good right now. Dude, yeah, like, I, I got a notification for his video about King to Ka potentially closing, and the second we saw that, we were like, we should just call on Friday and get our last rides, and here we are. So that's yep. pretty freaking cool. Oh, yeah, definitely. Not that crowded tonight? No, no, no. So. Like, we've gotten a lot of rides in, so yeah, it's been yeah. cool. Yeah, it's so, so sick to see you guys. Yeah, it's great <laughs> meeting you, man. Yeah, really yeah. appreciate it. Hell yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. That's it. Oh! <laughs> Man, oh, that, that's just a ride that means so much to me. That's a really difficult one to walk away from, but I'm so grateful and blessed that I got to get my last rides today with great company too. Awesome meeting Ryan. Everything went well. Like this, this park on the right day can be so, so good. They have one of the best top twos I've ever experienced with Ka and El Toro. If they do get rid of Ka, I hope they replace it with something that really lives up to that title, something that lives up to that caliber because that ride is so that. monumental, so famous around the world, they really need to invest in something huge. I will say, from a business perspective, I get why the park would do it. It is very hard to maintain that ride. And with Falcon's flight at Six Flags Kadia in Saudi Arabia opening very soon, that'll take all the records from King to Cause, the tallest, fastest, longest roller coaster in the world. Suddenly that doesn't have any records to claim. So I get it. At the end of the day, I understand why the park's doing it. But for us coaster enthusiasts and for a lot of people around the world, very, very upsetting, very sad. You can take this with a grain of salt. It might not be true at all, but if this really is it, King to Cause, you will be missed. So, so missed. What an absolutely phenomenal experience. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out everyone.